What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So as it stands we are still in the mythical lands of knowing nothing. I mean all we have got so far is teasers, teasers, teasers and more goddamn teasers. Now of course in the last Batman video we were discussing the rumors going around about the title. We had loads of different speculations. We had Batman Court of Owls which of course was made up for loads of relevant reasons linking to the teasers. But then when we got that teaser of the director in front of the Batman Beyond logo. We of course had the new title rumored to be Batman uh, Beyond Arkham which was personally one of my favorites and I thought that was really, really cool. I mean, in terms of speculation, there's a ton of things going on. And if you're new to this hype train, it seems like it will be in May, of course, of this year, possibly around the E3 time, where we will see gameplay and May when there'll be some official announcement. But in the last video, I did ask you guys, hey, let me know what you guys really would like to see in this game. And the ones that get the most thumbs up, of course, will be the topics I discuss. Now, in this video, I got two from... Uh, uh, two of your awesome rebels from that comment section and as always if there is something you have at the top of your head like a really cool idea drop it in the comment section below but to begin with I'm gonna start off with lol time and he said or she said some ideas for the game first and foremost be able to free roam as Bruce Wayne and Batman and they both have separate vehicles now I know that was definitely a big request off that video I mean loads and loads of comments were just saying you know an open world Bruce Wayne that would be great having you know essentially I guess multiple characters to some extent and again I mean in this case having separate vehicles that would be great uh, going into that comment even more they also did say an animation between transforming into Bruce Wayne and Batman I guess that would be something to give you guys a better perspective maybe like in GTA 5 I don't know zooming out the map but in this case it would be something really really cool uh, again leave your ideas on what you think that that would be or possibly what you'd like it to be I can really imagine some crazy transformation into Bruce Wayne uh, from Batman and then vice versa uh, going into Batman from Bruce Wayne that'd be really really cool then also we have the vehicle he can use is like the Batwing Batbike and the car of course you can get access to the Arkham City Arkham Asylum North Gotham and Gotham City as the game goes on characters like the first Robin Dick Alfred Clayface uh, etc and of course a DLC could be in the game like Arkham Knight the rise of Nightwing. Now, with the DLC uh, section with the Batman Arkham series, I mean, of course, that really had a lot of complaints. And I feel, like I said in the last video, in terms of this whole superhero game scene, right? Insomniac Games really set that bar high with Spider-Man PS4. The you know main body of uh, Spider-Man PS4 was fantastic. Without the DLCs, just with what was given to us right at the beginning. But then I think it's safe to say that they really went, uh, well, to town when it comes down to adding things to the DLC. They were listening to, of course, the community with things like the Raimi suit, etc, etc. But they were, as it stands, consistently chucking things into the game. And even now, of course, we have that Fantastic Four thing, you know, I, I guess just waiting for us. So in terms of, like, content adding, I think they are a prime example uh, to compare a game like this to because I feel like they've done it right. Um, and with, of course, pricing and all that stuff, I think with the DLC in, in this hopefully new Batman game, things need to really, really be taken carefully and smoothly and knowingly that you know everyone wants this stuff and don't make it overpriced of course that is very very important but besides that I really really do like these ideas and it leads me on to the next comment which was from Webster 13 and it was one of my favorite ones uh, the first one exploring the bat cave now I feel in an open world game um, again let's say this Batman game I think it's really really key to have locations in the game they just urge you to go ahead and explore find cool things and you really overall have a purpose to go ahead and explore them if you get what I mean like you don't just want to explore them and get absolutely nothing if you can explore a location and then walk away with something hey that would be amazing uh, then of course a fly the Batwing again that is definitely one of the most requested things alongside the Bruce Wayne uh, free roaming 
and lastly some unknown villains so hey things like this will be very very interesting now also to touch up on the last comments I made in the video uh, previous to this one talking about a day and night cycle a lot of people were saying of course it's just gonna ruin the whole Batman theme essentially etc etc I 100% get what you guys mean but it would definitely feel different but again I can see what you mean and it kind of like ruining everything but it is a kind of grey area, so a lot of people do have mixed feelings on that and I want you guys to let me know right now in the comment section below how you would feel about that. How would you feel about a day and night cycle? Again, it's a very, very, you know, I guess touchy subject because a lot of people get triggered, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But that being said, that is going to wrap up this video here, so subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day, and adios amigos.